Offering time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. And all the time. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, Titan is walking in the spirit. Amen. If you don't tithe, you're not walking in the spirit. That's true. You can't be spirit filled without tithing. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's you can't have righteousness, peace, and joy and say you're in the spirit and you can't tithe. That's right. It doesn't work that way. Amen. 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 You know, Oswald said, you know, tithing is always a spiritual battle. Is between the flesh and the spirit man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you can't tithe, the flesh has won. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. So confess right. that the flesh oh, yeah. has won. That's why you cannot tithe. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Oswald said, Does everything in my life fill God's heart with gladness? Or do I constantly complain because things don't seem to be going my way? And, you know, I said about this month, I'm going to talk about what my friend Wesley said. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get it, and I hope you're getting it. He says, you know, I call these four principles of financial stewardship. That's not what he called it, but that's what I'm calling it today. He said, one, in spending this money, Am I acting as if I owned it, or am I acting as a trustee? You know, each time I go shopping, I walk into a shop, I look at something I like, I ask myself this question. <laughs> and I don't have any problem dropping the item. The second one is, what in the scriptures requires me to spend this money in this way? When I ask myself those same questions, I look at it and say, okay, I'll just go back to my wardrobe. <laughs> Can I offer this purchase as a sacrifice to the Lord? If the answer is no, and a lot of it is no, then I won't buy it. Will God reward me for this expenditure at the restoration of the righteousness? If I keep these four principles in front of me, from January to December, I think I will do good. I will do good. You'll be a wealthy no. man. I will have enough to give an offering. If I can walk in the spirit and fulfill these four principles of when I'm buying this thing, Am I acting as a trustee? What place in the scriptures justify me buying this? You see, when you go to buy food, you buy enough for you to eat, not to throw away, right? Amen. So if you buy enough to throw away, it's not scriptural. If you're buying to show off in your dressing, you see, buying to clothe yourself and feed yourself is scriptural. It's spiritual. But when you buy your clothing, to it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is true. That means I have enough in my wardrobe not to go naked. Uh -huh. I don't know about you guys. And you know the one that gets me? My shoes. I can't justify it anymore. <laughs> no, so I can't. I just wear my shoes until... You know, let me tell you a story. Real story. I think only your God knows this story. <laughs> Probably that's why I buy shoes. <laughs> you know, when um, I came, from, uh, came back from Nigeria and I was walking, um, none of you know this, um, but... Um, I was working in McDonald's on um, Jones and, and um, uh, Charleston. It's still there. Uh, actually, later on, I met the manager who gave me the job as a patient of mine. Uh, <laughs> so
So I, I used to walk to get to my workplace. You know, it's about 45 minutes. And I, I was, for those who are cultural sensitive, I was faster than Gonzalez. <laughs> because I had to leave my place to get to work in less than 20 minutes because I had on that job I was to do. So I was so I was walking so fast that my shoes got torn. I mean, they got burnt from order. I mean, have you walked in Las Vegas in summer? Yeah. One oh ten to get to the place. I mean, at a point in time, I, I pick up. My, I had only one pair of shoes. <laughs> that was. I had only one pair. Of, I looked at it, and the bottom has burnt off. You see, to get on that pair of shoes, I had to ask my sister-in-law to send me money to buy a pair of, on that pair of shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, I was, I was, God is good. Amen. I was walking that I had an ingrow toenail. I couldn't even go to the clinic, but I knew how to drain myself. Was it painful? Yeah, oh yeah. I did surgery on myself. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. I got better. Yeah. I got better. I got better. You know, there was this rain that was raining in Las Vegas then. You know, if you use the bus, don't, don't look at me that way. If you use the bus and you wait to, then they had no bus shelters. And if you wait for the bus, <laughs> and you know, they, they, weren't, they weren't sensitive to, you yeah, are one minute late, and then you miss it by 30 seconds, uh -huh. and you had to wait in the rain without an umbrella, uh -huh. and you were going to a job yeah. interview. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> But God is good. Even though I was drenched, I got that job. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. I don't know why I was t I'm telling this story. No, but does everything in my life fill God's heart with gladness? Or do I constantly complain? Mm -hmm. I don't know who is complaining. But whoever is complaining, <laughs> it can be worse. Yes. But it gets better. Yeah. Amen. It gets better. It just gets better. Yes, it does. I learned it gets better. I learned it gets better. Amen. You know, let me tell you on that story. I don't know why I'm telling this story. <laughs> At that time, they had racial conflict in Los Angeles. And I was going for an exam examination. Um, one of these uh, foreign examinations, you, could, you have to pass it before you can practice. So by then I have already gotten a car. You see, I couldn't get a car because I didn't have a credit. Mm -hmm. So when I got a car, I had, a credit, I had an interest rate of 20%. Mm. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, really. <laughs> no, it was cool because I had to pay it off. Very fast. Yeah. And I did. Uh -huh. But when I got to Los Angeles, and there was this tension everywhere, I didn't know why I was going. There was no GPS. Mm -hmm. There was no Google map, because I had no printer. <laughs> so when I got to Los Angeles, the first person I met, the first place I drove into was... They say it was a horrible place. I don't know. But the first person I met was a Hispanic man. And that time, Hispanics and Africans weren't in good times. I said, can you show me the direction to where I was going? He looked at me up and down, and he said, I will do better. I'll write the directions for you. God is good. Yeah. He protects us wherever we are. Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying this thing, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Yeah. That's right. Does everything in my life fill God's heart with gladness? Mm -hmm. So in spending this money, we're talking about Titan. 
Am I acting as if I'm the trustee? Scriptures, sacrifice, at the resurrection of the righteous. You know, we talked about, I, I, I don't know how everything, everything seems, seems to sink into place. Because Pastor talked about what David says about bless my soul. Mm -hmm. And that was the area I picked up a month ago for today. Yeah. So it's by coincidence. No. By God. <laughs> <laughs> so Psalms 103, verse 1 to 6. He says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forgot, forget not all his benefits. Yeah. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Yes. Yes. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things? Mm -hmm. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. You see, I was reading this thing this morning. And it occurred to me that I was reading it wrong. It says, bless the... I mean, if you find it difficult to, to type, this is enough reason. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that within me. And he says, forget not all his benefits. But when it comes to forgive all your iniquities, yes. I decided to change all your iniquities to all my iniquities. Yes. Because it makes a, a little bit of difference to me. It's your iniquities. What about mine? Yes. So I go, who heals all my diseases? My diseases. Who redeems my life yes. from destruction? Mm -hmm. Who grounds me with loving kindness and tender mercies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who satisfies my mouth with good things? Mm -hmm. So that my youth, mine, I don't know about yours, but mine, <laughs> is renewed like the eagles. You see, when I look at this scripture, and I read it this way, then I can pray back this scripture to God. Yes, yes. absolutely. As my own prayer. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. So it's not your prayer, it's my prayer. Yes. Right. Do whatever you want to do with it, but this right. is my prayer. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm praying it to God. Amen. Whatever you want to do with it, that is your business. <laughs> you get what I understand? This is my prayer. If you want to claim it, that is your business. But between me and my God, this is my prayer. He forgives me my iniquities. Yes. He heals my diseases. Hallelujah. He renews me every day. Every day. Thank you, Jesus. If you want to claim it, that is your problem. Yes. Me? Amen. It is mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. And every day, I will be younger. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because that's what he said. That's right. Amen. I may have gray hair. But I will be younger. Yes. Amen. I will do what I cannot do when I was 20. Yeah. With this body he has given me. Amen. I don't know about you. Because that's, that's what he said. Amen. 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 <laughs> so in summary, God is my forgiver. Yes. He is my healer. Amen. Is he yours? He is my redeemer. Amen. He is my provider. Yes. He is my satisfier. He is my renewer. He is my righteousness. Yeah. So why wouldn't I give offering to God? Amen. Amen. Why would I find an excuse not to give an offering to my almighty God? That's right. You know, I, I just read someplace this morning. Let me see if I can remember it. God was talking to Moses. And he said to Moses, I am the God of Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, the almighty God, but they did not know me by this. I was wondering, what does he mean by they did not know me by this? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because he was about to do great and mighty things in the land of Egypt. God is about to do great and mighty things in West Spring. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. See, when he said, I was the God of Abraham, oh, yeah. God of Isaac, God of Jacob, but they did not know me by this name, by almighty God. God is about to do mighty things mm -hmm. that people in the past did not know about. 
but we have to be obedient. I want to know him by almighty God. And he said, I am your Lord. That's it. Jacob, Abraham, and Isaac did not know him by that. That's right. So I said, wow. So each day we need to know him. But we need to walk in the spirit. Amen. And if we have to walk in the spirit, then you have to be obedient to tithe and offer our yes. offerings. Offering time. Blessing time. Blessing time. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is Praise God. Let's give. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We worship you. We bless you. And we will not forget all your benefits. Father, this day, may we know you as our almighty God. May we know you as our Lord. Our Lord Almighty, give us the strength, give us endurance to walk in the Spirit that we may not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Father Almighty, accept our tithes and offering. Bless it, multiply it, and glorify your name with it, Lord. To you be all the glory, for we have prayed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the body of Christ says, Amen. Join us for services at Wellspring Church of All Nations, a dynamic church that lifts up the name of Jesus. We are meeting at 4870 Janelle Drive, located between Buffalo and Durango, with an entrance at 8140 West Lone Mountain Road. Our focus is to win the lost, connect them to Jesus and His church, train them in the Word of God, and help them find their place in the work of the Lord. Our service times are 10.45 a.m. and 6 p.m. on Sunday and 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday. For more information, you can give us a call at 702-631-5027. That's 631-5027. Or you can visit our website, www.wellspringministries.com.